Ryan Garcia has been a different man lately, and I don't mean that in a good way. Just take a look at this. At the end of the day, I've been screaming for these promos, but I'm not even going to react. At the end of the day, you know, I want to clarify some Stop things. the coat, nigga. It's fucking up your voice. When just a few months earlier, he seemed a lot healthier and more articulate. Let's right. And then all they seen was the shadows and that's all the reality they knew. Mm. And then one guy escaped it. Let's take a look at what may have happened. Ryan Garcia has been boxing since a young age. He has built up a huge social media following and amassed an undefeated boxing record until his big break came in. The big break was a fight against another young undefeated and popular boxer, Gervonta Tank Davis. In a sport where the best of the best often duck each other, this bout was highly anticipated and was going to make a lot of money for both of the boxers. Due to naturally being in a lower weight class, Davis's team has stipulated a rehydration clause which would be detrimental to Ryan Garcia Regardless, Ryan accepted, and the fight happened. This is where Ryan's star may have began flying too close to the sun. Garcia, and now, oh, Garcia forced to take a Ryan Garcia suffered a technical knockout defeat in the seventh round and lost his undefeated record. Being unable to grasp his defeat, Ryan was looking for reasons for his loss immediately. The fight proved to be as much of a curse as it was a gift while Ryan made the most he's ever made in that fight, and his popularity increased even more. As a competitor, he suffered a crushing defeat, not previously known to him. After some time from the loss, Ryan Garcia noticed that many in his corner, including Oscar De La Hoya, began to abandon him. He voiced it out, and the two had a back and forth. Although De La Hoya is still Ryan's manager, the relationship is clearly rocky and is strictly financial at this point. You know, Oscar is saying that, you know, we, we misinterpret, uh, you know, what they say. It's plain English. I, I didn't hear anybody speaking any language I don't know. So, you know, it's very clear to me that, you know, they're back at this guy to me, just like they thought, you know, he was going to be me. He was the next Filipino star. They say he's the next Mexican star. This drama was followed by some strange behavior from Ryan Garcia. First, it happened at the PBD podcast. Ryan was speaking in an arrogant manner, kept on chewing and drinking into the mic, looking away at his phone, and interrupting PBD. How's your relationship with Canelo? I asked him to play golf, he didn't hit me back. So, I keep my judging very small. <laughs> Unless I stoop. What did they say in court? I plead the fifth. <laughs> hey, Patrick Mahomes <laughs> follows me. We love each other. Patrick <laughs> Mahomes, you excited? While some were attributing it to a lifetime of boxing, I don't think it is CTE kicking in as he didn't suffer too many head blows in the fight against Tank that would affect him so drastically, and he is still relatively young. Rather, it might be something worse. A bad boy phase fueled by substance abuse. CTE wouldn't make his face appear more swollen, Rather, that's the signature look someone gets from drinking and partying heavily as alcohol and an inconsistent sleep schedule lead to water retention. But it can be something way more than some alcohol. Because let's also pay attention to the fact that his voice has also drastically changed. Compare it to a more high-pitched tone a few months back. And he discovered the truth uh, outside of that cave. Then he went back and tried to attack. To this more recent Ariel Helwani interview and how he sounds here. <sighs> I've made a poll on Twitter. Who okay. do you want me to fight next, Devin Haney or Rollies? Ryan Garcia did come out and say that he drinks and smokes weed occasionally, just like any other young man. What do you do? I drink and I smoke weed, and so has the majority of this room. While smoking more frequently would make someone's voice lower, there is another substance that can affect the vocal cords like that. It is Coke and not the soft beverage kind. This is in addition to the rumors that Ryan has also been gambling more frequently and failing at it. About the poker games that he's losing millions of dollars at, <laughs> because I've played at some of those games and they tell me how much of a, like, a fish he is. Basically, he just right. throws money. He's like an idiot. So, hey, I will, I will verify that by Bryce. I'm, I've, I've got a lot of buddies at the top level of the poker games that run through Cali and Vegas, and, and he's definitely a fish that loses a lot of oh, money a at lot. the poker table. So Bryce Hall and then another individual are stating that they've heard from pro gamblers that Ryan Garcia is basically free money for those that actually gamble. Sounds like classic Vegas high roller behavior where nights are spent gambling, partying, drinking, 
and snorting. It also doesn't help the fact that he has to be associated with Oscar de la Hoya. The man has more cocaine in his system than a Colombian rainforest. Just look at how the muscle memory on his face reacts to the word coke. Stop the coke, nigga, it's fucking up your voice. I, 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 wanna, I, wanna, I wanna clarify something. While Ryan did get back in the win column with a finish over Oscar Duarte, this may have mixed results. Seeing that he can still be successful might fuel him down the road of believing that he's a functional user who has got everything under control. To be fair, Ryan is dealing with a lot at such a young age, and he even himself admitted that sometimes the weight is heavy. I'm real. I'm like this. I do drink. I do smoke. Now what? It's okay. Guess what? We all have our flaws and we all evolve as people. Look at, I'm 25 years old. You gotta remember, the weight of the world sometimes feels like it's on my shoulders. You know, you know, you, you, I don't know how many people have been 25 years old and made $100 million in their life and can do whatever they want. I want to see what you would do in my shoes. Probably a lot more than some weed. <laughs> that might be what's causing the substance abuse as a reactive coping mechanism. His behavior has been more consistent with a coke use than a chilled out, relaxed pothead. What happened? Ever. Fuck out of here, motherfucker. Hey, what if I came up there and I beat the fuck out of you, motherfucker? I bet you won't do it. I bet you won't do it. Go do it. You ain't gonna do shit. Sit your little ass down. He's also been using social media more and seemingly without any filters. I bet this reminds a lot of people of someone else big in the fighting game who after a break from fighting and cashing in a big check began partying, abusing substances, and showing erratic behavior on Twitter. Ryan clearly has to be on something as he's even stated to Ariel Helwani that he can beat Sean O'Malley in MMA. One was about Sugar Sean O'Malley. Oh yeah, bring that motherfucker on. <laughs> I'll beat his ass in MMA, guaranteed. In MMA? Yeah, I'm a natural. You don't understand. I'm a natural in wrestler. I just beat my security that's a wrestler. I beat him. So he's a natural mixed martial artist because he beat his security guard whom he pays. In wrestling. Solid logic right there, Ryan. Sean and his coach responded with a hilarious skit. <sighs> Ryan, we need money. We're in debt from betting, brother. Oscar, I need to fuck Sugar Sean up, honestly. You could fight MMA, you could beat whoever you want, you could beat John Jones. I seriously think I could wrestle. Wrestle your security guard, show him, prove him. You're an athlete, you're a natural. You can do whatever, brother. Let's get it on, hold on. <sighs> Fuck, I'll fight Dana. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <Dana>, up, Oscar. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Let's go on Ariel's show, brother. Yeah, I'm gonna go on Ariel's show. See, now this is the behavior of a pothead, making light-hearted skits like this. The way Ryan has been acting isn't similar to this, but similar to the way users of other substances act. Speaking of substances, Ariel Helwani might need to be tested too for proposing an MMA fight against Ilya Tapuria. Watch this video by clicking on the card above to see why it's an outrageous idea.